Well hello there and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to have a look at a frame from HDLRC. This is the Sector 150 frame. Now the Sector 132 has been exceptionally popular. A lot of people have bought that bind the fly quads, been reviewed quite a lot online. Um, great little frame, great little quads. Allows you to do 4K footage with Tarsier or with um, um, it's the DJI system that it has built in as well. You can get that version. So a great little frame, very, very popular. For getting that size of Cine Whoop style feel without the Cine Whoop exp expense or the size, of the big ducks, as it really only has prop guards. But this is its, its bigger brother, the 150, the Sector 150. So it allows it to use a three inch prop with the prop guards on. Whereas the 132, if you wanted to use a three inch prop, you had to take the prop guards off. So let's have a look at what we get in the box. So we have the prop guards in the nice bag and all the other bits and pieces. So we'll get these out and then we'll see what we've got. So here's everything we get inside the packaging. We've got a nice little bag of fixing screws and some, some gummy dampeners there and different sizes. There's little, uh, some little nuts there with... Um, looks to be yeah they've got the little sorry these little nuts here let me just focus on those oh, i've got the the little um plastic sort of ring in them to stop them from coming undone so they're locking nuts so that's that's very very useful for this build so we've got some some gummies and other things and things there so we've got more than enough than we need we've got spare so that's that's really really nice so we've got that so we've got our standoffs we've got some stickers because of course we have We've got our um, prop guards, quite nice and strong, quite a nice design, very nice indeed. So we've got four of those, and so we've got some battery straps as well, two of those, very, very nice. We've got our base plate and our top plate. We've got some 3D printed parts here for our antennas, very useful. We've got a little 3D printed part for mounting a PV camera. So there's a bit sort of texture on there to sort of grip but I'd put a little piece of um, a grip or something like that on there to make sure your GoPro doesn't go flying off when you uh, have a little accident or something perhaps or a tight turn <laughs> um, so you can mount that quite nicely um, on the front so that's very good there um, we've got some little grippy pad for our battery Not too bad so massively grippy but Certainly grippy enough, nice to put that in. We've got this 3D printed part for putting our DJI system in, detaching that. So if you want to fly this with a normal flight controller, um, we've got the mounting holes for that. We've got a normal stack, but we've also, as you can see, got the mounting for DJI system as well, if you want to go down that route. We've got some little antenna tubes here, all very nice, ready to go. I'm not quite sure what this little piece here, I think it's a bit of plastic or something so I'm not quite sure what that's for I'm sure if you know what it is put it in the description in the um, comment section down below if I find out what it is I'll put it in the description but I'm not quite sure what that's for and then finally some more 3d printed parts for mounting our camera so let's have a look at the thickness of this carbon the top plate is two mil so that's quite nice and the bottom plate is about three mil so very nice very nice and strong not that we're going to be flying this too fast because this is going to be a bit of a cine whoop when we do this build um, so it's not going to be um, flying too fast so having you know, any high speed crashes but yeah very very nice we'll do a nice build i'm sure especially with the the three inch um, props on there which we can have with the prop guards so that gives us a bit more power we can use a slightly bigger lipo i think some were using the 132 with sort of 650 854s might be able to squeeze a small-ish 1300 milliamp 4s on this which would be excellent give some nice long flight times but we'll see we'll see when we do the final build um, but what we're going to parts we're going to use is well when I finally go around doing the build and obviously that will be in this video this is just a basic outline looking at the frame it's a good frame see what we get um, so we've got that there so what we're going to use on motors I'm going to use these motors here these are the Emacs Eco motors very very notchy not used these before so these will go nicely with a three inch prop they are a 1407 41000 kv so very nice 
um, for a 4S Cine Whoop Star Quad. I know now, there's obviously with the kebab with his motors, which are obviously a 22 so wider but a lot squatter. But I'll go for these guys and see how they do. Should do very, very nicely. Emacs, excellent brand. So we've got that. And for our flight controller, we're going to try something a bit unusual. We're going to use this. This is the, was it Gemku? I think that's how it's pronounced. It's the 30 amp flight controller that they do. And to mount it on this frame, because obviously it doesn't have a whoop star mounting, it's, um, let's actually have a look at that. Let's see, we've got that's 20 by 20 and 16 by 16. So 20 by 20 or 16 by 16, but certainly not whoop. So we'll use this little mounting bracket here, which will allow us to mount the whoop board on there, hopefully, like that. And then we can wire that in really easily with these motors, which should have enough wire length as we can see there to easily get to the motor pads on that all-in-one flight controller ESC from Gemku with a 30 amp ESC so we'll see how it goes I think Kebab has been putting these on his 2203 motors that he has and flying with these on 4S so it should be fine on, on these motors no problem at all for that little flight controller ESC so there are parts and we might want to use obviously you might have your own parts in mind which is fair enough um, but there are parts that I'm going to use but there's the frame so the sector 150 obviously when it's built it looks almost exactly the same as the 132 only just slightly larger which is well I'm not showing it built but that's everything you get in the packaging thanks so much for spending your time watching my video and uh, happy flying take care then bye bye